Hi y'all, Cynthia here. I'm out here in the backyard and I'm getting ready to do part two of my video tour from what I did last time. If you like this video, go ahead you guys, give me the thumbs up. Hey, I'm working hard out here. It's a beautiful morning, but it's going to be about 88 degrees today. So I'm trying to get it done a little bit earlier. Early for me, you know. But anyway, uh, if you don't know my channel, check it out. See what you think. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, let's get into this video. Boom! Okay, here we go. I'm just going to show you a little bit here quick little look of the back we in a drought but I'm managing and um, it can always be worse guys so don't be complaining don't be complaining all right okay so now we're gonna walk over here to where i start stopped that last time last time i know i did that row right there so i'm gonna start right here okay this is my 100 gallon uh grow bed here and um i think i showed this before but i've added some things to it um that borage um i'm trying not to be in the shadow of, uh, over here i hope i'm not in it but anyway, that's the borage here. And uh, I have that in there that I added. This is the uh, onions in here. Some of my onions died. Um, some of them lived. Um, but I see now, next year, I got to get more. Because this is not enough. This was um, one of them little things that they give you from Dixondale. But some of them died. But not that many of them. But this just wasn't enough. I need more onions in this. So, um, if I remember, I'm going to check the date. And if it's not too late, I'm going to go ahead and try to put in some little green onions in here. I forgot to do that. Thinking I was going to have a lot of onions. Okay, over here, I have eggplant. Eggplant. This over here is like a musk melon and then another musk melon. I got marigolds in there, chamomile down there, and um, the eggplant. Um, I planted different kinds of eggplant, but I know I planted some black beauty, and I think those particular ones are black beauty. And these onions are called ringmaster from Dixondale. So that's that and the marigolds over here as you can see down here on the ground here I have this watermelon vine going up in this big pot some calendula on the end okay I see that I got the shadow so what I'm gonna do y'all I'm gonna walk down here and I'm gonna come at this the other direction because that that shadow is distracting and I don't like it okay so I'm gonna turn around I'm going to come this way because it's real, real sunny. So I can tell the sun going to be real hot today. So I'm going to start here. This is some type of melon. I lost the tag on it. It was just about dead. But anyway, I put it in there anyway. And uh, we'll see what it does. I got a pepper here. I have uh, a beet there. Let's see what that says. That's the beet. I don't know what this is. I was looking at it yesterday trying to figure out. I know this one is a pepper. I know that's a beet. I know this is borage. And I don't know if this is a flower or something going to flower. It might be um, pak choy flowering. Or it could be a flower flower. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what that is. So, over here I have my okra. And it's grown up quite big. And this one here is, let's see which okra this is. Here, okra burgundy. Ooh, I like that one. 
I had grew that last year. That was so good. So that's that okra. And then I have a pepper in there with it. And there's the pepper. And that's bushed out and doing very well. Let me see if I see. It's a shishito. I see the tag. And then this one here. Over here in this five gallon bucket is two. Two peppers in here. I don't know what kind they are. Um, this one here is a poblano. That one over there might be shishito, but it might be something else. I'm not sure. But um, this one is a poblano here in here. And then this tomato plant in here. I call this tomato row. Okay. This is called tomato row. Okay, so here in tomato row, we have another tomato, and it's got a little, this tomato looks all right, but that one looks a little weird to me, but it's got some flowers, and uh, let's see what it is. It's a midnight cherry. It's a cherry midnight snack tomato. I never grown that before. So we'll see how that does. And then this one over here, I have a pepper in here. That's doing good. There it is right there. And then the tomatoes. It's got tomatoes on it. See? Tomatoes in there. And let's see if I can have a tag on this one. Some some of my tags got lost, y'all, but some of them didn't. This one is a midnight snack, so. This is another midnight snack. And I got to come in here and take these and tie them up a little bit more here. See that? I got to tie that one up a little bit more support for that. And then this one here definitely got to get tied up because it's leaning way over. See? It needs to be tied. And I better get that done before we get some wind. Now let me pull this tag out down here. The sun is blocking me, so I hope that I'm, uh, oh, that's the poblano pepper that I have on the side of it right here. That's the pepper. And then let's see if there's any tag. Yeah, here's a tag. This is a midnight snack, too, so that's another midnight snack. These, these are looking good over here, this one. A little bigger, and I like that. So, over here. I have this tomato plant. It looking healthy and good. Flowers on it. And tomatoes. Okay, the sun is very bright, so I'm hoping I'm getting good shots in here. Kellogg's breakfast tomato. Let's get that stuck back in there. Um, and then I have a pepper here, which is... A poblano. I love poblano peppers. Love them. I love peppers, period. They're very nutritious. Y'all don't realize that? They have a lot of nutrition in them. Now, the bell peppers are the most nutritious. A lot of people don't know that. The hot peppers are too, but the thing is, the hot peppers, people don't eat as much, so you it, it takes a little bit more for you to get the nutrition. Now, let's see what this is. That's another poblano pepper, and you can see the leaves of it right here, a little bit of the tomato on it, but when I retie that up, that'll be fine. And then I was trying to see if this is another midnight snack or what this is. This is the Kellogg's breakfast tomato right here. Okay. And then this one here, I really need to get over here and tie this one. That's what I'm going to do after this video. And uh, see the tomatoes in the here. Got tomatoes on it. Look like it might have some, oh yeah, it's got some blossom in right over here. So I better start working on this one. I don't think it's a watering problem. So it's probably a... Uh, a nutrient problem or something because I water pretty good but I'm gonna 
I'm going to stay on it, though, because it's got blossoming right on that particular tomato. That's interesting. The other ones didn't have it. Um, shishito pepper here, right there. And then here, see this tomato is growing up big. And then here's another pepper here. Kind of looks like a shishito to me. Let me see if I can find a tag. Okay, here it is. Yep. That's a shishito pepper right here. And then this tomato, let's take a look at this one. I don't see any blossom right on that one, in right. Let's see if I can find a tag, y'all. Here we go. Paul Robeson. Paul Robeson tomato. I, this is my first time I'll be getting some tomatoes, I hope, on this one. Because one time I had planted it a couple of years ago. And um, all my things got damaged. And they fell on the ground. And I didn't know if the Paul Robeson was one of the tomatoes I had or not. Because it was one tomato that was real good. But I didn't know what it was. So I'm hoping this year... It sees that it's going to do well. See, it's got tomatoes in there. So that's that one. These look like shishito uh, peppers. At least this one does. I don't see a label. Uh, oh, yeah, here's one. Oh, this is that. Um, can you see that? Pacilla basil. Pacilla basil. It's a medium hot pepper. So that's that one. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I had them seeds for a long time. So here's the watermelon that I started out with before I turned around in this pot. And if you can see, I have quite a few flowers. There may be some melons in there. I haven't seen them yet. Um, I got to get out here. What you see in this white stuff is uh, D.E diatomaceous earth but see these um japanese beetles have done this now i sprinkled that around and i missed this flower and you see they found the one that didn't have it on there and attacked it so i'm gonna come out here and i'm gonna go through all my stuff and where i see i miss one at then i'm going to go and put some on that because that works and you don't have to worry about it you're not putting no heavy chemicals on your stuff that's just ground up shells it doesn't kill them right away but it messes them up and they die okay so that's that and that watermelon let's pull this out and see if i can find it Okay, that's the corn I have in here. This is the corn, the bantam corn. So let's stick that back in there because I hate it when I can't find my labels. Um, and this one here, this is the rattlesnake watermelon. That one going to get kind of big. So hopefully I'm going to get one of them. I've never grown a real big one before. Except for the crimson sweet. That was about the biggest one I grew. But I think this one's going to be bigger. Um, calendula is doing very well. That pretty. And then there goes some more flowers. So it's doing good. So we already looked at the 100 gallon. So now we're going to walk over here. Um, this is the bee bomb. I was getting ready to pull that out. I had um, put that in last year, and look, just look, y'all. I gotta stay back away from these bees, but do you see that big old bumblebee down there? Um, I got this stuff on my hand. I'm gonna wipe it on my dress. On it, I was trying to see how I'm gonna get it off my hand before I touch the phone. But I hope y'all can see him working on the bag down there. I don't want to get too close to him and have him come after me. But there he is. You see him? He doing something. I don't know what. A bumblebee. And uh, 
This is the uh, bee balm. But I was going to pull it out because it was tall and leggy and I put too many of them in this bag and I planted them last year and they didn't do nothing but just grew up tall and leggy. But maybe that's what they're supposed to do, grow the first year. So I was about ready. I was like, okay, you're doing the same thing you did last year. You coming out. And as soon as I said that, I come out here and look and it was blooming. So here it is. And uh, as you can see, they don't call it bee bomb for nothing. I'm trying to stay away from these bees, y'all, but uh, I hope you can see them flying around in there. I'm going to try to stay a little bit away from them. But can you see them working it? They love it. They love it. So that's that. So, I'm going to walk down here and turn around. And my grass looks terrible because we, we're in a drought. It ain't really grass, though, but I have a lot of clover. But all the bees, everything loves clover. But I'm going to turn around and go this way. All right, so that's the bit. We're getting ready to go down here. And I designed my garden like this. A lot of people say they like the way... I have it with the road. Well, I figured like this. If these were in-ground beds, I would have rows. So I figured, why not have rows in pots? So that's what I did. So when you looked at my garden, I did a video overhead. And you saw, it. You, all you could see was rows. Because that's the way I designed. And I like it like that. Because when you cut, you can go straight down the row. Cut. And it's easy. And I like that. So I designed it like that on purpose. Okay, now there's some watermelon in here. And it looks like I have a calendula. Now I replanted this one because this is the only one that was here already that I put in. So it's growing. And these are crimson sweet. All of them. So these were replanted. I put in some, they didn't make it. They were sickly when I put them in. And so then I just popped some seeds in there. And that's the seedlings. And this was the one that did make it in here. So that's what that is. Crimson Sweet. Over here, these are some of my slips. I got to come out here and mulch them. Now, I just put these in, in a few days ago. Okay? So if you're looking at them and thinking, oh my God, they look terrible. That's why. It's, it, was, it was very hot. Beating down sun on them. And I just put them in. But now this one here had been put in a little bit earlier. And see how well it's doing? It was put in like a week before those. So these will get good. They'll, they'll be all right. So that's them. And um, let's go over here. See what kind of pepper this is. Mm, here we go. Jalapeno. 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 Don't look like a jalapeno, but that's what it say. I pinched them out, so this one is bushed. Look how it's all bushed out and wonderful. See all the flowers on this watermelon down here. Flowers over there. And this is... Sugar baby. It's a sugar baby. So as you can see, the sugar baby is growing out there. It's got flowers over there. It's doing good. So I put the, the DE on everything, y'all. I put the DE on there. It's hot out here, so I'm hoping my phone don't mess up on me. Um, well, not hot, hot. It's beautiful, actually. But the sun is beating down on stuff. And making the phone feel warm okay so in here calendula eggplant eggplant and then this is one of those musk melons I see the label down there so that's what that is this is my comfrey uh, I'm going to put it in the ground eventually when I decide where I want to put it. 
But um, there it is, and I'm using it. And I'll probably get out here and get some more off of it. Um, so that's doing okay. Then I have this one over here, which I got to get out here. Um, I think this is, let's see if the tag is here. Yeah. Yeah, this is Georgia. Georgia. Can't even read my own writing. Lord have mercy. Collards. Georgia collards. Like that. So this is the seeds. And I'm going to get these off of here. Because see, the birds get them. They didn't fell off on the ground or down here. And um, and I got to get them. I don't know if I have anything left. But I'm going to get them and put it in a paper bag. And let them dry if they need to dry anymore. So let me stick that back down in there. So that I can label that when I take it inside. As you see, I got corn in here. The corn, corn, corn. Uh, two corns over here. I may separate that corn. And I may not mess with it since it's later. Calendula. And a mill in here. Doesn't seem to have a label on it. That might... Uh, I think it's a mill and it could be a squash. I don't know. It ain't got no label. Uh, got the corn label. Some things the label got lost, okay? So that's that. So I got to get out here. That's something to do today or I ain't going to have no seeds because the birds love these. They're eating them. So that's that. Then over here next to it, this whole bag is full of eggplant. And um, I got the DE on them. And I'm going to see, I see a label down here. I'm going to reach my hand. And I hate getting that stuff on my skin, but uh, let's see. Emerald, Emerald Diamond. Now that was right there because they may be different eggplants in here. I'm going to put it back where it came from. Because there's another label right here. And that is, uh, let me see that. Nadia, N A D I A Nadia eggplant. So that's the emerald diamond over there, and then the Nadia was right over here. So I'm gonna try to keep these labels where they belong, so I at least can continue to know, because these are eggplants I've never grown before. So it would be nice to know which one I'm liking and want to grow again. Okay. So that's them. Then over here, um, this is something. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is that? Oh, triangle winter squash. Um, I think that one gets real huge and green. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of them, but we'll see. Um, the reason I say that is because something had been eating my blossoms off. But eventually those things straighten themselves out. But by this one being so getting so big, I don't know if it'll have time. But we'll see. And here, zinnia. Isn't that pretty? That's a zinnia. And as you can see, I got some corn here. And I have corn and corn and corn and corn. So I got the corn and squash growing together combination. Go over to the next bag. We have eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Uh, and I'm not sure, but I believe this one's a melon. I see flowers. Let's see if we can get in here and pull this label out. I keep putting the phone down. Sorry, y'all. But that's just the eggplant. And the eggplant is Listeria, L-I-S-T-A-L-A. -A. Uh, that's the eggplant. So, I'm trying to see what this vine is. But anyway, the eggplant's doing beautiful. And then, um, I'm trying to see if I have a label for whatever this is. This vine here. 
I don't want to knock off my DE either. But see, we haven't had any rain, so it stays on there. And it's working. Definitely working. All right, so let's see. Oh, it would have been nice if I could know what this is. But I'm thinking it's uh, like um, the one next to it, the triangle. And I told you you're going to get the big old green squash on it. I think that that's what that is. And um, it's growing. See, I don't, I'm sad I'm going up. I'm over here. And... Uh, I'm watching that one growing all the way around. That's the one that I just showed you. But it's growing, coming out of the pot, going that way, going this way, going all around there. And I think that that's what that this one here is too. So I'm hoping I get some of these. See, I like to grow these because they store well in the winter here in upstate New York, zone 6A and B. And I can have a squash. You know, just keep them in the cool place in the basement. So, here we go. Oh, my neighbor didn't come out now, so hopefully we won't have noise. Um, anyway, this one here. Um, I got corn in here. I believe this is that triangle squash again. This is corn, 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 corn. And it's the bantam. And that is. B A T A M. And then in the middle, I just stuck a flower. I don't know what that is. It might be a bachelor button. No, this, this is the squash. Okay, I was right. See that name? Triangle, aka shamrock. That's that corn. And it's green. It's beautiful. So I'm looking forward. I just hope I get some of them. That's why I planted so many of them, so hopefully I will get some. Over here, we have, look, this is the biggest corn I have right here. This one really took off, liked it, and then grew fast. And oh, you can see all these vines out here. All of these, I believe, is a watermelon. Let's see if I can find a label for that. Charleston Gray. Never grew this one before. It's going to be another big one. I hope that I get some. But, oh yeah. I just saw, as soon as I said that, y'all see? See that melon right there? Look at these flowers. See the flowers? So, it's growing out this way. It's growing out that way. It's been took off and growing over there and around here so it's doing good y'all fingers crossed and i'm gonna get some of these all right so i'm gonna turn around and go back down here and what i just what i grow y'all i grow what i like to eat i'm not trying to grow specialty cute little things i'm trying to grow what i like to eat um and things that I have liked to try. Okay, in this grow bag, I have some thyme. And I had to cut it back because it was flowering. But that's from last year. And it's doing well. And I put a marigold in here with it, but nothing else. Because as you can see, it wanted to take the whole bag over. So I let it. This one I put in a little bit later. And this was from last year. Can you see this down in here? Let me see if I can put my hand pointing at. Sun is blocking my view, but I hope you can see this big. Now, I don't know if this is an onion, a shallot. It's one of them from last season. I'm going to pull that out soon right here. It's ready. And then over here, I have another one from last season. It's doing good, too. Can you see? Can you see this one right here? And uh, I thought there was three of them. Okay, that's all I see right now. But right in here, this was some stuff I had that would look like it was dying on the front because I couldn't get the plant and stuff on time. And this is a Seminole. Oh, 
Oh, I hope I get that. That's the Native American pumpkin right here. I hope that uh, it comes out, but they take so long. That's why I started them inside, but I didn't get them in the ground. And this one, at least this one in the ground in enough time. I got some more somewhere else that I got in the ground on time. Um, but I hope that one does something. This is, uh, it says sage, but that's an old label. Oh, let me see anything on the back. No. So that's the label need to come out of there. This is a jalapeno. I wrote on the back of this label. That's a jalapeno pepper. And this over here is, I think this is my lavage. Yeah, lavage. And they say it tastes like celery. Never grown it before. Looking forward to it. So I got, I got one over here. I got one here. And then over here, I have this curly parsley. I used to grow this years ago. So I just put some in this time I grow. I got a marigold in there. And then here's, the, I know what this one is. This one is a shallot down here. That's a shallot. Okay. That's the third one that I didn't see. All right. So I'm going to go down here. These are my blueberries. I'm, um, I want to put them in the ground, and I got an idea where I want to put them, but I haven't done it yet. Um, I don't think they like it in these buckets. They're living, but they're not really, I think maybe I need a bigger, that's what it is, I need a bigger container. Because I changed the soil in here in the early spring and put them in some more acidic soil. They're they doing well with that. This one here is still a little discolored. Um, I'm going to put some liquid fertilizer on that. Uh, I think it needs a, a little bit more because I have been fertilizing it, but it's, it needs a little more. And that's the other one there. So I have three of them. Eventually, they're going in the ground or they're going to go in one of them 17 gallons. As soon as I plant one of them trees in that 17 gallon, he's going in there. This is mint here that I've been here for a few years. My label done wore off. I got to rewrite that. I think that's peppermint. Okay, that's doing good. Then I have a tomato here and a pepper. And this is an Amish paste tomato. I see that label. And this pepper is, I'm gonna pull that weed out. This is a jalapeno pepper. I'm still eating peppers from last year. I put peppers in everything. So, as you can see, this Amish paste has got tomatoes. It's got tomatoes in there. So, it's doing good. It's got flowers. So, it's doing good. This is a medley um, prune. Well, not prune. Um, plum. Plum tree. And I left... I, when I ordered it, they said they was going to send it in the fall. Then I looked up and it came. And I really didn't have time. So I put it in some water and I left it there for a long time. So I don't know if it's going to do anything or not, but I planted it. And we're going to see if it's dead or it's going to grow. Over here, this, let me take this off. This is the blackberry. And let's see if I can tell you what kind of blackberry this is. This is called Prime Arc Freedom. And I believe I'm planted all thornless. As a matter of fact, I think I need to take that off of there. Um, I'm going to leave that off of there. Because it's, I got to put it on a little, it needs to be a little support here because it's binding already. Uh, so, that's that. Come over here. I got my sweet potatoes. These are my slips that I did. Okay. And as you can see, they're doing good. Yep. They are doing really good. Looking forward to sweet potatoes. And uh, last year, they were so sweet and so good. And uh, I just didn't have enough of them. 
the last minute whole winter. Now in here, this just was planted, so it nothing come up yet. This is uh, Walmart seed potatoes that I had from my seed potatoes from last year. So that's them. Everything got planted late because y'all, y'all know the situation I was going through with the riding mower being broken and me having to get out here and hand cut an acre. So this one here is Yukon Gold. And I bought that locally. So hopefully that'll do good. This here is some more sweet potatoes been planted recently. That's why they looking sickly, y'all. Okay. These are my slips. I'm going to get out here and mulch them today. All right. So that's them. Over here is another uh, blackberry. And it looked like it's dead, but I hope it's not. Um, it had a little green on it, but I got that on there for protection, but it was planted so late. I planted it later than I planted that other one I just showed you. Over here, we have some garlic coming up, calendula, and here's a squash. And let's see what this, uh, I planted these. When I turn around, I'll go and I'll find that label and show it to you. This is my delphinium. I was so upset when that squirrel was digging in. I thought I wouldn't get anything because it just kept coming back and digging, digging, digging. And that's how it kills stuff. It didn't just dig one time. It would come back as soon as I put the dirt back on it. And I'm in upstate New York, so when you expose something in the winter, roofs, you know, you kill things. And in here, I think... This is a pepper that I put in there with it. No, that's probably a flower because I don't think I would have put a pepper in there. But that's a flower. Let me get this weed out of here. So that's the delphinium. Over here is foxglove from last year. I thought they would bloom this year, but they didn't. I planted them in seed last year inside. And last year, that's all I got was a plant. This year, all I got was a plant. So hopefully, they're going to make it through the winter, and I'm going to put some foxglove. And I just stuck in here some dahlias that I grew from seed. I stuck them in here just to have some color. So I got one here, one here, and then over here. All right. Over here, I have my sunflower. And I have the aphids and the ants trying to set up a on here so I sprayed them with some water knocked them off kept knocking them off and then I put some DE on here so that's what that is so I got three of them and if you look down in there I'm trying to get a flower and get a flower over here and a flower over here usually I have a whole row of sunflowers right here and then I got down here calendula and um, but this year I didn't do as many sunflowers because I have tons of seeds. And uh, But I like them in my garden now, okay? So I'm going to walk down here and I'm going to turn around so that I don't have the shadow. And I'll come, the, come back and show you the stuff that I didn't so show you. All right. Right here, that's my perennial flower bed. I'm going to put the sprinkler on that today. I don't do that often, but since we're in a drought and they're flowering, I'm going to put the sprinkler on it and help them out. So I will do that. Um, over here, let me turn around. This is a squash delcata. That's my favorite so far. My favorite squash delcata. Love them. Oh, love them. And then I put, I planted them all at the same time, but only two came up and I thought, oh no, I can't have that. I gotta have more. <laughs> so I planted, as you can see, I got another one coming, one there and one there. I got some garlic in here coming up and I have the uh, calendula. Uh, that's some of that stuff on my hand. Get that weed out of there. So. That's them, and I, we came down here, 
over here. Okay, right here. Calendula here. And then over here, this is a zucchini that I plant. I got two zucchini plants in here. And then back here, I planted some garlic. Garlic over there. If you can see that one. And then in this bed, I have a pepper. I just found a pepper plant stuck it in there. I don't know what it is. I don't think I had a label on that one. This is a, the Patty's Plum type in the white. So I have this one, this one, this pepper in here. Let me see, what is this? Oh, and I planted some garlic. And it doesn't appear to have come up. But there's a calendula over here. And you can see that. Okay. And then here's another sweet potato. Um, my slips that I did. Doing well. And there's one there that I showed you. So they, I got them side by side in these big tubs. And normally I didn't have these tubs in my garden. I usually have all grow bags or pots. But I put the tubs in. I found them at the Goodwill. And I used them. There they go. And then down here, I have the calendula again. And a little tramp down there. Because when you see a tramp in there, that meant something was digging. And there's garlic back over in there. A couple of garlic right there. And um, this squash here is, turn it around, Patty's Plum Yellow. So this is this Patty's Plum and it's yellow and I have two of them, that one and that one there. And then this collagen is pretty big but it laid over and it's laying over 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 on there but i'm gonna have to get it off of there because they gonna need that room and i got a some garlic one of them came on too look like i got another one over here garlic came up i had a swiss chard i found i stuck it in there you know not seedling and uh this is butter nut butter nut squash and I planted one, there's two in there, two plants. Okay, so that's that row. I've showed you the rest of those. All right, so we're going to go over here to my trees. Let's turn around. The bugs have been so bad, y'all, between um, me um, over there in that pot. I have, I mean, um, mm, echinacea and echinacea in here. They come back every year. All right, so I'm gonna go down here. This is um, my hazelnut tree. And it's kind of light colored, so I'm gonna have to find a different kind of fertilizer for it because it's not supposed to be this light. And whatever I'm using. Oh, it got a problem. Maybe that's why it's so light. It's not draining good. Look at that. I watered that yesterday. Look at that. See that water in there? That's not supposed to be doing that. That should have been drained out. Oh, wow. That's the problem. Well, I won't be putting no more water on that. And uh, I bet you the roots probably done grew so big, they probably done blocked up them holes. I got to get that in the ground. Well, I'm glad I discovered it. Okay. Over here is a pear tree, and uh, you see I use the tool, and I put a tramp in there. I have to, and um, I'm not trying to kill. I'm trying to deter. Um, 
dwarf pear tree this is. And what kind of pear is it? Dwarf Fleming. Fleming. Okay. Y'all, my feet getting hot. I may have to take these boots off. Lord have mercy. Oh, hold on. Stop here. Okay, this is the honey crisp apple tree. And it didn't bloom this year. Um, it was just planted last year. So it's doing well. Oh, I just noticed my trap has popped. So I'll have to fix that. Okay. And then next to that is the peach tree. And it has the leaf curl. It does have one peach on it. See if I can get it in here. See that one peach? And um, I left it on there. I don't know if I'll get anything from it or if it'll be damaged. But you see the leaf curl. And what I have to do is get these leaves off of here. Uh, the ones that fall down like the ones that are in there now. And the ones that look like that. Um, get them out of there and get the yellow ones off and just keep doing that spray it with neem oil and then in the fall I can when all the leaves fall I can put some sulfur on it also late winter um, sulfur and it's something else you can put on there too but I don't remember the other thing and um, we got a Japanese beetle over here which I'm gonna see can I get got him oh. I don't like doing that, but by the time I go get something or whatever, it will get away. So I'm just going to wipe my hands on this grass and clean them real good when I get inside. Um, this here is, got it at Walmart. It is a Santa Rosa plum tree. So it's doing good. Over here, these are the flowers that when... I dropped all them seeds that I had planted inside over the winter and didn't know what was what. But I put them all back in there. Well, they grew. And I'm identifying most of them. So I see that I got some dahlia in there, bachelor button, and two big sunflowers and calendula. And then that little thing right there is lavender. I'm not sure if that's a weed or a flower, so I'm going to leave it. And I think this one is a weed down there, but I'll get that out later. Okay. And the sunflowers here. Uh, it's getting a flower. It's getting a flower on this one. Over here is another peach tree with the leaf curl. And I have to do the same thing with this one. Okay. And hopefully it'll grow new leaves. This is a honey crisp apple tree, and it, um, from what I counted, if I counted correctly, I have five apples, and it seems to be doing well. Um, so that's my stomach, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, ah, I just got through eating some lunch. Okay, there's one of the apples, another one up there. And that's one in there. Okay. So it's doing pretty good. I'm going to go over here. This is a new addition. You see I got the echinacea there in the pots. They come back every year. My roses is, need to be deadheaded. But they was beautiful. Um, this is a new addition. These two hanging baskets here. And those are seedlings that I grew that are in there. They're coming up. Okay. So, there's just one other new area that I wanted to show you. And let me get over there to that. I had these baskets on here to protect this uh, whiskey barrel. 
I had put the post up when I bought the two whiskey barrels from Aldi for $12.99 each. And I wish I'd have bought more. They gone now because I went back over there. Um, but I had this covering it up. I was covering up these potatoes, fingerling potatoes right here. And I took it off because they were getting big and they, they wanted to be out of there. So I have fingerling potatoes in there. I got oregano. I have some rosemary right down here. Um, some sage. I purchased those because uh, calendula, calendula. Um, I purchased some herbs because mine, they grew good inside, but when I brought them out, it took me too long to get this stuff in the ground because of my problem I was having with the mower. So, and I added something here to the leeks and scallions. I think that's a calendula down there. I got a pepper there I added and another pepper there, which I don't know which kind of pepper they are, but I found some peppers in my seedlings, put them in there. Okay, this is the other whiskey barrel. I purchased the lemon balm. Uh, this is celery I grew from seed. This is celery I grew from seed. Uh, all this I grew from seed, except for the lemon balm. And um, curly parsley, curly parsley. Um, chamomile. Okay, so that's what I did with the other whiskey bear. Oh, and the deal. The deal here. So... I'm wondering if I cut this head off, will I get some more leaves on here? That's what I'm wondering. Um, and I'm going to cut it off. Uh, I wanted some more because I wanted to make some pickles. But anyway, that's the baskets I had covering that up. But I took it off because I think they have a size now. And I just want to show you a few melons. To the person who commented in my comment, she said that something was eating off her blossom. She didn't get no squash one year. Don't give up. Keep doing what you're doing with your plant because eventually it'll work itself out. Now see here, this is what was happening. Mine was being ate off too, but look at that. Also, look over here. Okay, so I just wanted to tell you that. Don't give up. Okay, and then over here, I have this one in here, which was being aged off too. And look how big that one is. Okay. Don't give up. No matter what's going on, keep on trying. Even if one plant goes, pops something else in, or pop the same thing in, but keep on going. Okay. And then over here, I just wanted to show you this Seminole. I've wanted to grow these for a while, and they're doing very well. The Native Americans used to grow these. And I got one there, one there, one there. And I got the plant growing all out over there, if you can see it. And now uh, it's getting new leaves. It's getting new uh, places that are blooming so it's doing well okay that was all I wanted to show you over here because you already seen that part and I'm not going to repeat that that was shown in the first uh, you want to see the rest of the garden just go to part one of the tour now over here is my apple I just wanted to show you that because they're growing I'm proud of them The wind picked up out here, as you can see. We're in a windy area now. It's always windy every single day. Whatever you're trying to do, you got to fight the wind. But you just and adapt. So over here, Japanese beetle. See that leaf? But I'm going I'm to be putting some more stuff on there for them to take care of them, stop them. Okay? All right. 
and see one of my apples did fall somebody said it will take care of itself and thinning it is doing that okay so that's what I'm gonna do and here is the last little glance and I just want to thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you so much I love you guys and I shall see you all next time okay bye bye